Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have something to unbox and review. It is the Panasonic Cyclonic Inverter NN-SD765S 1.6 cubic foot microwave oven. As you know I bought this uh, microwave oven at Best Buy. Actually I bought it online at bestbuy.ca and uh, I paid $249. Right now it's at $299 because the sale ended on January 21st so I bought it right away I was anxious to get my hands on it I said well why not as you see over here I have my uh, new microwave stand just for it very nice stand and I bought this at Walmart yesterday and it took a while to put it together and I got it together right now I'm, I'm going to be explaining why I bought this microwave and what happened to the other one that I bought and why it broke, I don't know, but I'm going to explain that in the uh, next video, so um, stay tuned. Well, as you see here, this is my old microwave. I had this microwave for 22 years. I bought it years, years ago, and it's a Kenmore. I uh, don't know what kind of model it is. I think it's um, model 87271. It's one of them. That's one of the bottom ones. I've had this for 22 years. As you see, this is the old manual here. And um, this is the plate. It's a 13 and a half inch plate. So, um, the reason is, a couple weeks ago, the only thing I can remember is when I was heating up a little pastry thing, to you know, a little heat. It worked. I never, I said, well, you know, and my family asked me, or people in my family asked me if, if your microwave still works, and I said, yeah, it has to work, and it works, and never had any problem. Well, just a couple weeks ago on a Sunday, as a few seconds of heating up, you hear a little, I can hear a little zap, it stopped, just like that. So, maybe it did smell, it did do new electrical, electrical smell, like that, or whatever it is, maybe there is a fuse in the power that could be broken, and that's probably all it is, but uh, you know, I said maybe not. And I said maybe about the uh, hazard shock as you're taking the hood off and pointing out. Well, I might do it later on. So uh, I uh, thought, well, I'm going to go buy a new microwave, but where? Mm, I thought a Best Buy. Maybe Walmart. Well, I thought Best Buy, because I know they have a graves. And uh, I did look online to my uh, phone, my smartphone for example. That's one of the ways you can do it too. You can shop online, you can shop with your your iPhone, your Android phone, anywhere. So, I looked online, I seen a uh, Panasonic microwave for 129. Oh, that's pretty good. I can't remember, I might have paid $300 for this. I don't remember. 129. I said, well, I'm gonna just buy it, I guess. At least I have one if I do. All I decided I was thinking of using it to heat up stuff. Well, you know, I thought, but I didn't much do. With this microwave, I mostly use it to heat stuff up, uh, frozen entrees, you know. I have used it years ago. I bought it. I read to the manual. It uh, was quite interesting at first for my first step to, to buy one. And, you know, it's got all these features on it. So does this one, too, you know. This one is not only the same microwave. This microwave, however, runs on. Uh, standard uh, conventional microwaves. Therefore, you have a power supply of 1 to 10. Actually, 1 to 9 in this one here. And this, uh, the way it's going to operate, and I've seen it done, is you know, if you set it at number 5 or 6 or 7, the power supply, no matter what it does, it turns on and off. So the microwave will rotate the plate, you can hear the sound it's making, maybe it turns on, maybe the lights might flicker, for about 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, you can hear it, like the oven power sound, and then it turns off, and it clicks off, and it keeps rotating for another 10, 20 seconds, and it turns back on again. So really, the whole idea of this is, it's only going to turn on at full power. That's what it means. So if you have set number power, number 3, it'll run for about 20 seconds, 10, 10 seconds to, to turn on, It'll probably take maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds before it turns back on again. Obviously, that's all it really does. Same thing with the thawing feature. They all have the same features. 
with the power supply because when you adjust the power supply, the power high level to low level, it's going to do nothing but turn on, off, on, off at full power. So really, that many years has came by and it's been some time and uh, Panasonic has been making this inverted technology for a few years. I, uh, the whole point is, when I went online, I decided to look at the 129. Well, you know, I found some features amazing. First of all, the 100, the 1S 129 didn't have a uh, sensor uh, heating and all that. And I said, hmm. didn't have keep warm pressure. Well, this one does, which is convenient. I said, so I bought it. And uh, I had it get shipped. Anyways, I brought it back there when I went to the, uh, what do you call it, post office to bring it back. To a sprint to ship label, brought it back, and that's how you do it. Eh? So, really, what happens is I had to bring a shipping label with, with through my computer, print it out, bring it to them. Instead of bringing the microwave here to bring it back there, I went all the way to the post office, put the shipping label, talked with the lady, the teller, and I put the label on the box and sent it back to where it came from. So, come on, refund, that's good. I decided because I looked at another one, similar, 139 it was, now it's 149. I said, I'm going to buy that one. That's the one I should have bought. At least it has keep warm feature, sensor, reheat and defrost, and cook. Well, then I said, before I do that, I'm going to think again. Maybe get something better. Well, you know, I look at another one. That's for 179 Hmm. I think that's an interesting. It has dial. And it has lots of features, too. Not because have the fancy screen and all that stuff and it's and it's the same still of course but I wanted to see something that was uh, unique such as can, most of the Panasonic's are inverted now so the inverted technology runs differently it runs automatically adjusting the power when you cook your food or you reheat and frost defrost and everything you know inches of weight that is the good part about the microwave so that's one good thing that they have going inverted signals. So I decided to uh, uh, think about that. Then I waited a little longer and I said, you know, what the hell? I said, I'm going to look at another heck. I mean, sorry, sorry. Another microwave. I saw the one for 199 that sold out online and it source. I said, that one, if I would have had that one, I was thinking of getting that one. Why not? Because I looked at some YouTube videos and I said, wow. Someone's got one, and I'm like, hmm, interesting, bigger. Well, I thought of this one. I seen this one, I was very amazed. Now, this one is the, not only a commercial inverter inver technology, it is the cyclonic inverter technology. That means the waves of microwave are going to be three-dimensional, filling up the whole cavity as it's running. So that means all you, you have two racks. You have your bottom and your up. With conventional microwaves, you can only put on a platter, like you see here. So that's um, what I thought. I paid two forty nine, but I realized I rushed because the sale ended on January twenty first. So I decided to just get it right there. Use what I had, and I got my money, and that's uh, what I did. So, anyways, now that I'm finished explaining the what's microwave. I might uh, try to fix the microwave. If it's a fuse problem, it may be this. If it works again, I might give it to someone who knows. Maybe my siblings, maybe uh, my neighbor. Who knows? Or who knows? If, it does, if it doesn't work, however, the fuse is not blowing, something's wrong. And you know, like I say, it's time to get rid of your old microwaves because everybody wants something new. So right now, I'm going to unbox this bad boy. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Fair size platter. 
15 inch, they say. Nice. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Very well packed. As you see, very long. One good feature. And here's the micro pistol. Heavy as you know the older ones I find. And here it is. Very nice. Well, okay. You know, it feels actually lighter than the other one I have for some reason. Everything is a little bit more efficient these days. That's good. So here is the box. That's the packaging. I mean, sorry. And uh yeah the uh Oh my god, it's about to be good. And there is the case to cover it. This one though doesn't have enough on it, but that's okay because it's nice and clean and no around, no scratches, no scars, scars, nothing. So, this is exactly what you're going to see. And uh, here's the old 13 half inch, inch leaf from the other microwave. As you see, you see a little tape on it here. So that's the good part with the microwave. And, uh, now I'm going to uh, set it up and see it work. And here's what the, you know what it actually looks like in a little bit more viewing. Here's the back of the microwave. Here's your cord. I unraveled it. It was uh, Kind of tied together in a knot. Let's see very good how they put together. Here's the features. Again, the book is a, um, a PDF. You don't need much of the manual, but that's okay because you have a PDF and there's lots of uh, information that you need to know before you use your appliance, as you know. So right now that's what you see here. Here are the two plates. Definitely not much comparison. Mm. It's a little bigger. And uh, okay now we're going to uh, tape, as you know it's all we fastened tape, it's all put together like you see it. It's just so that it doesn't uh, Get damaged during shipment. That's very good. Tape you got to be careful with, and it does stick, as you know. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Maybe the manual's inside the book. I don't know. Open the door here. Well, look at that. The manual is right here, anyways, and that's where they put it. Really, I thought you didn't have a manual because you don't have to have a manual because you have a uh, PDF. You can actually download from Panasonic through the uh, PDF. As you see here, there is your French version uh, sticker. That's something that they have in most microwaves, and uh, not really today. You know? And you can see inside there's your uh, book. Yeah, there is a book. And yes, information that you need to know. And this information is important. The oven must be placed in a flat, stable surface for proper operation. The oven must be must have sufficient air flow. Allow seven to six centimeters three inches of space on both sides of the oven and six centimeters two inches of space on top. Okay, so that's good. And number two, it says we if you if the air vents are blocked during operation, the oven may overheat and be damaged. That's right. So you gotta be really careful with that. You see it's got English and French. So that's important to understand. That's why they put that in there. And if you don't know that well you shouldn't be opening it up either if you don't have any information. <laughs> Here's the book now. The book is very important to read. As you know at first you're gonna read um, safety instructions and uh, proper use and warnings and dangers 
that is very important very important because this microwave does have a power out power source of 1200 watts at 12.5 amps the uh, consumption however is 460 watts so really it's not uh, I don't know how much I'm going to use but uh, I'm going to find out and here we have uh -huh. interesting to see this is what it looks like inside much like you see it and ventilation there's your ventilation it looks like it has a light bulb and there's your sense your um, what do you call I don't know too much about that maybe it's a vent I wonder if that's the uh, sensor but I'm going to find out hmm okay so now it's been unboxed and unwrapped and is uh, placed on a stand here as you see but right now it's not plugged in which I'm about to do and you will see what you're going to see and uh, the very important thing I have to say is like most microwaves they always come with a manual okay and they work so really it's very important that you read your instructions of your own uh, high-end appliance especially today this is a 1200 watt 12.5 amp appliance so really you want to be careful with a few things and hope you have enough power to run it. I said I could do. And uh, okay, here we go. Here, so first thing you're going to see in your manual is uh, table of contents. You will see uh, microwave and oven safety. Your safety and the safety of others is are very important. Okay, we are providing important safety measurements in your manual and on your appliance. Always read and obey the safety messages. It's very important. I'm going to show you this, the alert sign, warning, danger, warning, and caution. You like I hit earlier, you can be killed or seriously injured if you don't immediately follow instructions. Same thing with warning and the caution. You can, including a potentially hazard, hazardous situation in which, if not avoided may result in a minor or moderate injury so you really got to be careful and you know most of that is basically simple in most microwaves but this one is a very powerful appliance again using the cyclonic inverter technology that sends waves throughout the microwave all through the whole cabin very important to understand that and uh, as you can see here, we're going to replace the uh, plate. Inside the microwave. Okay, that's one thing that's done. The door is much like a uh, plastic, it's all stainless steel here, and the you know, oven and the buttons. So, you're okay. Uh, productions are to avoid possible exposure to extensive energy. And you see the topics here, and I will display them on the any video that you see on the screen. Okay, the warning is to reduce the risk of burns, electric shocks, and injury. Read all instructions before using your appliance, okay? And that's what it tells you right here. And you know, important safety instructions, such as do not overcook food, which means you can manually overcook food. Again, it's got a built-in sensor in it that allows you to uh, heat up uh, food and uh, defrost. It's supposed to work, it's supposed to, I'm gonna, see how it works the very first time and um, it's going to be very good okay and you know I tell you how to handle the food again important safety instructions continues on here okay do we avoid the risk of a shock do not remo remove ultra panel from the oven well and of course I don't think too many people are going to do that because it's like 
try to move this whole door. Not really, no. But no, don't. And if you do, you better consult someone who's going to put it together for you because you don't want to damage your appliance. It's very important. And to avoid the risk of fire, do not operate the microwave, oven empty, or use the metal containers. And remember too, do not operate the microwave oven with the door open. Never again. I've heard some reviews on the older models that uh, some of them were having difficulties with the door open. A microwave would operate with the door open, which is a very big hazard. And I think Panasonic has done something about that. I hope this is going to be a better microwave and it's not going to have any problems. We'll have to wait and see how many years it last. Installation and grounding instructions. Okay. Place the oven. You must place the oven on a flat, stable surface. Yes, which you see here. Extimate the your grounds. Okay, installation. Do not block air vents. And right now, as you can see, they're allowing to be inches. Uh, let's see here, instructions in, grounding instruction carries on to warning, and uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Lots of blah 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 blah. And it tells you the safety of productions of popcorn. Okay, that's another, another important thing. And deep fat frying, and it says it's to do not deep fat fry in a microwave oven. So not, don't, don't put oil in this microwave oven, whatever you do. If anything, it's liquids, water, you know. Oil is bad for you. That's one thing. Let's see here. See the instructions. Glass tray. Cooking containers and foil. Okay. Okay, and you have your cooking guide. You have the, you know, it tells you certain things you can sell. And uh, that's very important. Care and clean of your microwave. Okay. And your oven uh, component diagram and whatever. Okay, control panel, yeah, which is exactly what we see it. No different. Okay, starting to use your oven. Now, everything's all hooked up, it just seems to be plugged in. The first thing you're going to see plug into your priority uh, grounding, you will see welcome to Panasonic refer, refer to operating instructions before use. Scrolls across the display. That's the first thing you're going to see in this display. Okay, now here's what you will see. This is what you're going to see. And this is what it's going to look like. There you have it. Looks very nice though, nice and bright. Well there you have it. Very nice uh, feature. And uh, that's pretty much what uh, you're going to see. And uh, okay, there's your power level. It's automatically, this is the timing. Okay, so we're going to open it up very bright light inside very clear that's nice to hear nice to see so right now I am uh, just showing you what you can do with it it's at P10 you don't want to operate this microwave when you're uh, not putting anything in it so that's really good to know and um, that's pretty much it for this uh, view here and hopefully you will Okay, no stop now. That's a time.
okay we will stop it and rest it pretty much it's it for now well that's part of what you'll see in the dial and uh, uh, this is a, these are the seconds as you know here press uh, start well okay I won't do that because you're not supposed to I could put something in there to find out maybe I will demonstrate here okay I will stop this and I uh, will be right back okay now that we have done that let's uh, do a demonstration and see what it says as you see on the time it says uh, power 10 it says um, set time well first of all we'll open the door P10 okay Let's see here, it's not showing it says set time. Okay, I'll put this side in here for the demonstration. Okay, okay, we'll close the door. Okay, okay. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to set your power level. First of all, you want to set your time. We'll do five seconds. Power level. And we'll try uh, start. Okay. You see, it looks really good, just like the other ones. It uh, does a really good job. Hmm. You have two stages, you see. Enjoy. Nice. Your meal. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm just showing as a demonstration. There's a lot to read through it and really get to know this thing. And there's a lot of features that, uh, you know, it's going to have. And a lot of, you know, features that you would want to know. So, obviously here, let's see if we open the door here. Okay. That's set, start, clear, and we'll do that. Okay. Set time here. Say say seconds. Okay, press start. Okay, let's open the door here. Okay, see it says close the door. Okay, so that's part of what it's going to do. Eh? So you put the end for. Try to be careful. Okay, we close the door. Now. Okay, now you press uh, power level to bring it to low. Okay. Set the uh, time. We'll set it for five seconds. Four seconds. Okay. Okay. Start. And here we go. Enjoy your meal. Huh. There's more to it than that, though. But that's just the part of the basics of understanding your microwave and getting to know what it does and see what it looks like it's a pretty neat uh, function okay so right now that's pretty much all I can uh, explain and uh, when I get some tips going I will make some more YouTubes and I will uh, demonstrate more of what it does and what uh, how it works and how it operates and uh, right now uh, Thank you for watching my video and hope you will, you've enjoyed watching some of this stuff and maybe you'll get to see this for the first, first time. And um, thank you again and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye now.